and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be filming my February 2018 haul. Um, I've got a really random mix of things, so I think I said this in my January video, but last year for a while I did a kind of movie haul each month, most of the Monday movie hunts I picked up. I occasionally did a book haul uh, the year before and I had another book channel where I was doing some book hauls. And then last year, and I think the year before, I did some monthly game hauls and such and then I did the occasional um, Amazon haul. So instead of doing all the little separate bits and bats, this is everything combined into one. So first of all, I usually start with the movies first and I will get into the movies very soon, but I actually want to start out with my favourite thing I picked up this month. That I think that's what I'm going to do. With, if I'm carrying on with the monthly ones of everything mixed together, I want to start out with my favourite thing. So. This month, my favourite thing that I picked up was absolutely the... I've got a, picked up a cover protector for my 2DS, um, like 2DS XL, and I love it so much. So this is it. It's a Pikachu gold, like, clear see-through protector, and it is so cute. So it's like that, when it's open, I just think it's just the best thing ever. I've been absolutely loving it. Um, I really love my 2DS. If, I made a video and talked about it a little bit, but since having it for, um, I think I got it in September last year, it's been it's been such a great purchase. So I definitely would recommend 2DS XL. But I just love this. I got this off Amazon. If anybody's kind of interested in where it's from, and my 2DS is like the white and orange one, so I think it looks really nice. The one on Amazon it shows it with the black and blue 2DS, but I knew that the white and orange was going to look really cute with like the, you know, Pikachu and the gold. So yeah, love this. Absolutely one of my favourite things. I just now, every time I look at my DS, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. So I love it so much. Absolutely my favourite thing that I picked up. So yeah, that's that one. Next we'll get into the movies. So first of all, I will show all the money movie hunts that I picked up throughout the month of February. Um, I won't be talking about them because I will talk about them in a separate video. Uh, first of all, we have Goodbye Christopher Robin. I can tell you that I have seen, of all, seen all of these movies and I will tell you my favourite. So we've got Goodbye Christopher Robin, The Glass Castle, Happy Death Day, Flatliners, Thor Ragnarok 3D, Geostorm, Loving Vincent, The Lego Ninjago movie, the My Little Pony the movie, Home Again, Pokemon the movie, I Choose You, I will just say I loved this, um, it also comes with, oh it doesn't say on the front, it was a sticker, it also comes with the first Pokemon movie, and finally The Mountain Between Us. So. My favourite film that I picked up this month was The Glass Castle. I loved it, it was fantastic. This this was my favourite one. So yeah, if you wanted to know, that was my favourite. And I will be talking about them and reviewing them in another video soon. As far as movies go, I actually picked up two other additional random not new release movies. Um, the first one was The Land Before Time, Journey Through the Mists. I think this is the fourth Land Before Time. Um, when I was a kid I loved the Land Before Time movies. This one was my favourite and it was because there's this girl called Ali, I think, who's like another long neck and I just thought she was the cutest and so fun. I loved that there was like a girl little foot basically and I used to watch this all the time. A song which is called like I Need You or something got stuck in my head this uh, in last month in February and I couldn't get it out of my head and then I had to pick this up because the song wasn't on YouTube I wanted to look up the song couldn't find it so I picked this up for like a penny off Music Magpie and I actually watched it as well and it wasn't quite obviously what I remembered it being but it was really cute and nostalgic to go back and watch it so I'm glad I picked it up and the only other one that I picked up was Olaf's Frozen Adventure this is still sealed I have not seen this yet it's a Tesco exclusive DVD release it's about 20 something minutes, 21 minutes. I know it's got a few new songs and you know it's Frozen, it's cute. I've got the other Frozen short DVD. 
is it Frozen Fever? I don't know. I'm not sure. There was another like Frozen release DVD. I've got that as well. So I thought, you know what? Why not pick this up? These are really cheap, obviously, because they're only 20 minute little things. Um, so yeah, picked that one up. So those are the other two random DVDs that I picked up. Um, just really quickly, I'll jump into clothes because there really isn't much. I picked up this fluffy cardigan. This fluffy cardigan reminds me of, I don't know if you've seen, I wore it with one video once. I've got like a kind of like pyjama bed jumper that's like white and fluffy. Um, and it's got like little ears on. And it's really, really cosy. This is kind of cosy to the point of like feeling like the outdoor version of that. Like you could obviously wear this outside the house and it's really, really cosy and comfy. Along those lines, the white inside pyjama jumper that I have, I wear it all the time, like literally every single day. So, picked up this, which is a really fluffy pyjama jumper, which is just grey with like little gold stars, because when I like obviously can't just wear the white one every day of my life, I've got to put it in the wash and all things like that. So this is the, the other one now I have. And these are just so soft, like, it's really soft. Um, so yeah, those are the only clothes things that I picked up. Um, let's move on to... Okay, I, I, well, let's move on to like little figures and stuff. So first of all, I picked up this, which I was so excited about. Um, you guys might have seen I have quite a few Sumsums. I have stopped picking them up, but I saw they released a new season, and I saw that Pascal was an option, so I was like, yes. I want Pascal. I didn't want any of the other people from that like series and their blind bags, okay? So I was like, oh, hmm. So I felt the bags in the same reason. I was like, oh, I'll find Pascal. And to be fair, I didn't, I only felt like a couple of them. And I was like, oh, this one feels like it might be Pascal. I opened it up and look what we got. It is, ah, Pascal. Yeah, it's wobbling. Um, and he cut. I knew that was going to happen. So you get Pascal, a little Sumsum, and he comes with a little build-up of Rapunzel's tower. And he's just a really cute little figure. Look at him. I love Pascal. So I'm super happy. Don't need to get any more. I got Pascal. So I was really pleased about that. The other figures we got are... I say we because a couple of these aren't mine, but I will show you. Um, I got some more of the Horizon Zero Dawn figures. Um, this is the box. In February I picked up three. I've really been loving these, these are really cute and awesome. The first one of the month that I got is my favourite one ever and it is this one. The reason I love this one is because it looks kind of like a giraffe and I love it. I think this is the coolest figure and it actually came in two pieces which was interesting like it came like this and I was like oh my gosh where's the head? Why is it broken? No it was here so there we go that is that figure. The other Horizon ones that we got are this one which isn't as cool but Josh likes this one so it's fine. It's like a little weird spider thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. This one though I love. It's one of the big ones. Look at that. Love it. I have yet to get a person. So I'm hoping to get a person at some point soon. I will carry on picking these up until I've kind of got you know the ones that I want. Uh, but yeah, love this one. I think he's really, really cool. Probably my second favourite bar the like giraffe one. So those are the Horizon um, Funko Mystery Minis that I got in February. The same lines of the Funko Mystery Minis. Josh picked up two boxes of the horror classic series two Mystery Minis. So I'll show you which ones he got. Um, we've been to Forbidden Planet since to look for more and they haven't had any. Well, oh, actually... Maybe they did, but maybe we didn't pick them up. I can't remember now whether they did or they didn't. Okay, so the first one we got is the werewolf. So I presume this is from werewolf. What is that called? Werewolf in London? Something werewolf. I've not seen. We've talked about the fact I hadn't seen this film. Um, I don't know. Anyway, either way, it's a werewolf. So it's cool. So it's a cool werewolf. And this next one, I don't know who it is either. So the werewolf was 1 in 24 chance. This next one was 1 in 72 chance, and it's like this. Now initially I thought that this might be like some kind of Edgar Allan Poe, like the raven thing. That was what I thought. I looked that up and I was like, hmm, maybe not. So I don't know, but either way it's a really cool figure. And it was one of the rarer ones. So if anyone knows, 
who this is. Let me know. Um, yes, yeah, so those are the horror ones that um, Josh picked up. Let's mix to something else now. Um, okay, I'll show you a Valentine's Day present I got. Of course, February is Valentine's Day. And Josh got me this really pretty, I hope you can see it, it's got a really pretty cover um, journal. And I love it and it's really, really cool. It's like ring bound inside so the paper, if you like messed something up, you could just take a piece out rather than having to rip it or cut it. You can just undo the little rings and then obviously you can refill it as well. So it's really, really perfect and really like beautiful on the front and all the paper inside is like really nice uh, paper. And it's actually also got a pen in here too. So that's really cool. So yeah, I absolutely loved this. Um, and the other thing that he got me, we actually also got tickets to a show, but obviously can't show you that, is he picked me up this book, which I'm really excited to read. I'm probably going to read this in March. It is Everless by Sarah Holland. Really, really looking forward to this. It sounds really, really cool. And yeah, I'm hoping to be reading this in March. Now that I've shown you a book, I'll go on to the other books that I picked up in February. The next one is Stephen King on writing. Okay, this is a funny story. The reason why I picked this up is because, well, the reason why I'm explaining why I picked it up is because I've not read any Stephen King. I've seen adaptations of Stephen King's work, quite a few, you know, film adaptations. Um, but last month I watched a speech, um, like an hour long talk uh, given by Stephen King. I thought it was so interesting and I had this book on my radar for a while and I just thought the speech was just interesting. I had to go out and pick this up. So I've grabbed this. It's, um, it's a memoir from him but obviously you know kind of talks about him and his writing obviously um, but I'm just really really interested to read it I've heard some really great things about it it's got some fantastic reviews so yeah really looking forward to that I am hoping to read more non-fiction in 2018 so this is another one for the non-fiction the next book I got is Far From The Tree I love this cover this is by Robin Benway I read Emmy and Oliver last year from the same author and loved it so this is her second book so I'm looking forward to this one the next one is another cool cover and it is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I've been really waiting for this to come out in paperback for a while. Um, this and this and the next one actually were released in February. Um, yeah, really looking forward to this one. It's kind of in a, a futuristic world where people don't like die of illnesses or old age and it kind of talks about how they deal with that and yeah, you can kind of see obviously from the cover they've got like Grim Reapers and things like that. They might not call them Grim Reapers. I don't know. But yes. And the next book that I picked up again came out in February and it is Make More Noise. This is a collaboration from a bunch of different authors. Uh, so it's a bunch of different short stories. So really interested to read that one. It's like an anthology of uh, a bunch of stories. Um, next things I will show you are some games. I was really, really, really excited in February. So I've wanted some. I've wanted what at least one of these games. I, I mean, I've wanted them both for a really, really long time. But I always wanted to own at least one of them. They've always been quite expensive. I've always never been able to get my hands on them and things like that. And I managed to pick up both this month for fifteen pound each, complete. And I was so happy. So the first one was. The first one is. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Now I'd played a little bit of this when I was younger on the DS but I'd never owned like the proper full copy and I always had wanted to kind of you know go into it and revisit it. This is the first Zelda game I'd ever kind of played and again I hadn't played the whole thing I just played snips and bobs and I had really really wanted it and now I finally have it for £15 with the manual and everything I was so excited and so happy to get this and even more exciting and even more happy I also managed to pick up The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks for £15. This one I had never played, I'd always wanted it. I finally have it. I'm now about halfway through, well just over halfway through. Um, so I've been playing through it and I've been loving it, it's fantastic. Uh, I think these DS Zelda games are really overlooked. The controls are a bit hard to get into, um, but once you do get into them they're great. Um, Josh has completed um, the Phantom Hourglass already, we were gonna like, we've both been playing one and then switching but he gets through them faster than me, so he's completed Phantom Hourglass I'm working on Spirit Tracks and then he'll play Spirit Tracks and then obviously I'll play Phantom Hourglass so yeah, absolutely loving these, I'm so happy to finally own them 
uh, for my collection. They're beautiful and I'm just so excited and got them for such a good price. Um, yeah, so I love these so much. That was another kind of really big exciting pickup of the month was those two games. Uh, I've got a couple more games but I'll go back to them. First I will show you this. I Now this I didn't buy. I mean you know look at it it's a bit haphazard it's a bit wonky and it's lost two feathers it was like a white one and a blue one i made the little dream catcher but i did pick up quite a few little craft materials this month because uh, i was in a bit of a crafting mood and i made this dream catcher so this is one thing i made with the stuff i picked up obviously i picked up some wire some um what would we call this like some obviously some thread and some yarn i guess and feathers and bits and bobs i uh, guess yeah, so i was pretty happy with this so i wanted to show it in the video so there we go there's my dream catcher that i made in february and that kind of leads on to the next thing so in february i read a book called boys don't knit which i'd hauled in my january one so i decided i've never knitted before and i saw this magazine in the shop and i thought yeah i'll give that a go so i picked up this this magazine is called let's knit so i picked up this magazine let's knit and you can see it comes with Ollie the Owl, who you can knit yourself. It's got the yarn and all the stuff. Uh, my mum has knit a needle, so I thought, yeah, I can do this. I looked up the instructions and I was like, wow, I have no idea how to do this. So I haven't made Ollie the Owl yet, but I do intend to by the end of the year. At least make a somewhat version of this Ollie the Owl. Um, so I've got the magazine, I've got Ollie the Owl. Yeah. I don't know. The book, Boys Don't Knit, was really interesting. It kind of really got me interested in knitting. I thought it was really, it was a really interesting book um, and, and into more crafts. That's kind of when I made my dream catcher as well. Um, but yeah, so I did pick up this magazine and I have not knitted anything yet. Um, it was kind of quite a month for magazines actually. I picked up quite a few and the next few I really kind of want to shine a light on because I think they're really, really good. So the first one that I picked up, so obviously I picked up that knitting magazine but I didn't really count that as like a magazine, it was just I really wanted to knit that all over the owl and wanted to do a bit of knitting. Then last month you guys will know I watched Victoria and Abdul and I saw this magazine in the shop which is ooh, nearly whacked myself in the face, all about history, Victoria's empire and I flicked through it, um, I'll kind of show you a little flick through on the screen here. I flicked through and I thought, wow, this looks like a beautiful magazine. Like the way that it was all laid out and the pages were really visually fantastic. So I was like, yes, I really want to pick this up. It also had about the 100 year of the suffragettes and all sorts of stuff. So I was like, this looks great. I've always been really interested in history. I took history at GCSE. So yeah, I was really interested to pick this magazine up and I really enjoyed it. When I was looking through this magazine, it advertised for some other magazines like by the same company and um, this is put out by future and it's 4 99 as well so I don't think it was too bad of a price especially for how much content you get in here I would recommend these magazines so this is put out by future so also put out by future in the same kind of style there was two other well no there's like three others the other one's like history at war or something like a war one I wasn't interested in the war one but they had how it works and I thought this one looked really interesting. So this one, for example, was 51 Myths Busted. I've read this one cover to cover. Um, I've almost read... Ooh! Knocking things over. I've almost read this one cover to cover. Um, but this one I have read cover to cover and it was fantastic. I loved it so much. I found out so many interesting things. The third magazine, so obviously like I said, it was all about history, how it works. And there's another one that I saw advertised by the same company. Was World of Animals. And obviously... This is just super cute. I love animals. This looked again visually fantastic. I'll show some flip throughs. The the pages are just really cool. Everything that's laid out interestingly. And I just now know going forward I'm gonna pick up all about history, how it works, and world of animals on like a monthly basis because I am actually, you know, reading them front to back and they're really, really interesting and really fantastic. I just really love them. And I hadn't heard about them before. I've never heard anyone talk about them. So if you enjoy, you know, either animals or history or just generally an overall interest, I'd say how it works is pretty good. It does history um, and, you know, environment, science, um, space. It's got like loads of, does it say on it where they, I don't know. Oh yeah, technology, science, environment, transport, space and history. It like has loads of different sections about loads of different stuff. Uh, but this animal one, I haven't actually read much for this one yet. This is kind of the one where I'm up to. Um, and the second one, well, the second one to me, 
comes out on the 15th of March, so I've got a bit of time yet to read this one. Um, but yeah, really, really fantastic. And then also, because how it works, I think I picked up the January one in February, whereas World of Animals and All About History, I picked up the February ones in February. How it works, February one also came out, so I picked up a second How It Works. This is How It Works, Future Combat War 2030. Haven't read much of this one yet, um, it only came out at the very end of February, like the 25th or something, obviously there wasn't, there's 28 days in February. Um, yeah, so I haven't read much of this one yet, but obviously I will have read it all by the time the next one, the March one, comes out. But yeah, really, really enjoying these, I think they're really fantastic and I would definitely recommend them if you just fancy something like this to read. I feel like I couldn't recommend these enough. Um, I will be talking about them some more in future videos but I just wanted to share whoop, a bit of a bigger spotlight on them here because they're really really just brilliant magazines that you can just read front to back as well or I suppose if you weren't interested in every little aspect you wouldn't you could just skip a page or so. Uh, but yeah I've been loving those. Another favourite of the month I'd say uh, the Pikachu cover, the um, Legend of Zelda games and these magazines were really exciting finds for me for that month. The final magazine I picked up, I really won't talk about it very long, it was just this National Geographic 3-in-1 pack, this was really cheap, it was £4 for three magazines, it had puffins on the cover and I love puffins um, and it talks about like places you can visit in the UK, another one of the magazines is places you can visit throughout Europe and this isn't a magazine that I would read front to cover like the others, this is just one I wanted to pick up to flick through, um, especially because it was like best places to visit in the UK, I just thought that would be interesting for me to have a look through. Okay, so we'll go back to games because, yep, the next games that I picked up, the, I picked up, it was very DS orientated this month, I picked up the 3DS game Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. The reason why I picked this up now is because I'm in the middle of playing um, Lady Layton on the 3DS and I'm loving it. Miracle Mask and the sequel on the 3DS, the Professor Layton ones, are starting to be quite hard to find and I managed to find this for £15 in CEX so I grabbed it and picked it up. It's kind of the cheapest I could see it. I think on Amazon it's like £35, on eBay it's quite expensive so I grabbed it for £15. Uh, even though I'm not quite ready to play this yet. Uh, but yeah, I love these games, really fantastic. And the next one I picked up is one that I've wanted for the longest time. And I've always kind of thought, I really want that, but put it off, put it off. And then of course this month, because I watched the Pokemon movie, I Choose You, and I've got my Pikachu cover, I had to pick it up. Uh, and it's Pokemon Art Academy. This feels so light. It's got the game in there though. Um, Pokemon Art Academy. I've got the Disney Art Academy game and I love it, it's just a really fun little relaxing game. This is the Pokemon one, um, what more could I want? I was just super excited to finally pick it up because I was in such a Pokemon Pikachu orientated mood. So yeah, really excited about that and love that. I picked up two more Kirby's, we're coming to the end now. I picked up two more of these Kirby's and I was really sad. Um, you guys know I've been picking these up and I really love them, they're the Kirby keychain blind bags. I didn't get a duplicate, however, I did get uh, Meta Knight, which I didn't, I really wanted like the Link Kirby or you know the Sleeping Kirby, there's so many I really wanted, and Meta Knight was not really one of them, um, so I got Meta Knight, I picked up both of these two Kirbys on the same day, I will add, um, so yeah, I got Meta Knight, I was like, oh, okay, not, not my favourite, but you know, okay, I opened up the next one on the same day, and I also got Meta Knight, but it's worse, they're not even duplicates, they are actually different. This Meta Knight has a cape, this Meta Knight has wings, they're not the same figure, so I did get two different figures, but I got two Meta Knights. Um, they started to grow on me though, at first I was like, oh I really wanted a cute Kirby and I got Meta Knight and I got two Meta Knights, um, but yeah, they've been growing on me, I quite like these now, and again, at least they're not duplicates, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, the final things I picked up is, first of all, I picked up this MAC lipstick, um, just really for work. I wanted a more neutral colour, I uh, have quite a lot of bright colours, and this is Look Lively. It's like a little pinky colour. And finally, I picked up these on Amazon. And what these are, are five little tiny, empty 
bottles because you saw my haul last month I picked up some essential oils I needed some little bottles to mix them in so these are little glass bottles with little um, drip drip kind of for your oils so yeah I'm really excited about those as well uh, really random so that was my monthly February haul I um, what was I going to say then I would just really recommend the magazines I will say um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments so if you've seen any of the films read any of the books played any of the games or anything like that and I will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching this video and thumbs up if you enjoyed it and would like to see a March haul as well at the end of March obviously well beginning of April uh, I'll see you guys then thank you for watching goodbye